Hi, I'm Zoe. And this is Bailey. And that's Elsie. Today, we will be hiking into the boardwalk of Upper Waikumoi Preserve to learn more about native forests and why they are important. The Nature Conservancy established a preserve at Waikumoi in 1983 in the heart of the East Maui watershed, which spans 100,000 acres on the windward slopes of Haleakala, encompassing 20% of the island. Waikumoi encompasses 8,951 acres and is the largest intact native forest preserve in the state, providing a sanctuary for the Koa Ohia Forest. Today we will be hiking with Allison Burrell, who has worked for the East Maui Watershed Partnership for 10 years and is their community outreach and education liaison. They work with the Nature Conservancy and other partners to protect the East Maui Watershed. She will be sharing more about their work later in our visit. The Waikamoi Preserve includes 63 rare species of plants and 13 species of birds seven of which are endangered. Some of these species are endemic and found nowhere else on the planet. The East Maui watershed provides up to 60 billion gallons of clean water annually to Maui's residents, businesses, and agricultural community. Today we will learn more about why protecting our native forests is important in protecting our water supply and maintaining a healthy watershed. But first, what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land such as a mountain or valley that collects rainwater into a body of water. Water from rain runs off from the tallest land points like ridges and mountaintops, and some of the rain is absorbed by plants, while some is absorbed underground, and the rest flows down to the surface rivers and streams, and then finally down to the sea. Healthy watersheds provide fresh water, while also providing habitat for a diversity of species. The Nahupua'a was a division of land that starts from the top of the mountain down to the sea, following the natural boundaries of a watershed. In ancient Hawaii, these land divisions were self-sustaining wedge-shaped tracks where people gathered resources for their basic needs. There is a lot that can be learned from the traditional Hawaiian system of resource management that could be applied to protecting our forests today. The multiple layers of vegetation in Hawaiian forests allow those forests to effectively collect water. In the canopy, rain is slowed down to minimize soil erosion and water runoff. Common canopy trees include koa, which was used for canoes, and ohia lehua, whose flowers are an important food source for the native birds. The next section of trees and shrubs is called the subcanopy, which absorbs and captures the fog drip. This includes mid-sized shrubs. The understory which keeps things humid so that the water doesn't evaporate into the atmosphere, is home to the amau. Beneath it, the ground cover of native ferns and mosses acts like a sponge that soaks up the water that drips from the trees. The water then soaks down into an underground water storage called an aquifer. The Vaokua in Hawaiian culture means forest of the gods, a special spiritual place that is not easily accessible by humans. Ancient Hawaiians visited these forests for specific purposes, like harvesting coal logs for canoes, and also where forest birds' feathers were collected to create beautiful capes worn by a li'i or chief. Hawaiian honeycreepers are a diverse group of anatomically different songbirds that inhabit the forests of Hawaii. Certain species are only found in the forests of East Maui. Scientists believe that Hawaiian honeycreepers evolved from one ancestral finch species, likely a rose finch from Asia. Over time, these honeycreepers adapted to their new environment, feeding on different food resources and occupying different ecological roles to become what they are today. At least 56 Hawaiian honeycreepers were known to have existed, all but about 18 of them are now extinct. Six of these are found in Maui. The Maui Forest Bird Recovery Project is a nonprofit organization which also works in the Waikumoi Preserve. They protect Maui's endangered forest birds through habitat restoration, research, and other conservation techniques. 
Threats to our native forest have occurred over the past years, from non-native plants such as Himalayan ginger, strawberry guava, blackberry, and gorse. These spread so fast that they suffocate the native species, leaving no room for other plants to grow. These threats include invasive ungulates, such as pigs, deer, and goats, which can destroy the native forest habitat, and animals such as mongoose, cats, and rats can kill native birds. Climate change also poses a threat by allowing mosquitoes to travel farther up the mountain and infect native birds with fatal diseases. A more recent fungal pathogen, known as rapid ohia death, is killing the majority of the ohia population on the Big Island. Protecting our native forests from these threats requires coordinated efforts between multiple organizations, and this is part of the mission of the East Maui Watership Partnership. So the East Maui Watership Partnership was created in 1991 with a series of six partners that included Haleakala Ranch, the Nature Conservancy of Hawaii, the State of Hawaii, East Maui Irrigation, Tarlakla National Park, and the County of Maui. They realized that invasive species and things that affect our water quality don't recognize boundaries. So in order to protect these places that are our source for our water for our future, we needed to do large-scale conservation efforts and work together rather than apart. And the East Maui Watershed Partnership actually was the prototype for now 10 watershed partnerships that exist throughout the state of Hawaii. The East Maui Watershed Partnership's work includes uh, fencing, and the fencing is made to keep out wild animals like pigs, goats, and deer that can tear up and destroy our watersheds. And then inside of those fenced and managed units, we go in and we remove those animals that are still trapped inside, and we also remove the most damaging invasive plants that are threatening our native forests. And then on top of that, a really important part of our watershed is that people know what it is and why it's important. So we engage in a lot of community outreach and a lot of education within our community and schools. The East Maui watershed is one of our largest intact native watershed forests and is also one of the largest sources of our fresh water here on the island. It's really important to protect them as they are that water source for us, but also because of all the native plants and animals that exist in these forests. A lot of them are very unique to here and they live in these forests and nowhere else in the world. They are also really efficient at capturing cloud moisture and that can actually help us through periods of drought. So they're much more efficient to kind of keep our aquifers full of water and releasing water slowly during times of drought versus our non-native forests. And these biodiverse forests help prevent erosion of soils and dirt that can run into our streams. And all that sediment can often run down into our streams into the oceans and cover our reefs and cause problems into our reef systems as well. Um, these are also places that are important for Hawaiian culture. A lot of the Hawaiian people come up here to gather or practice their culture. And as the climate starts to change here in Hawaii, we're really gonna rely on these forests more and more and need to make sure that they're protected.